Good morning. I love my Thursday mornings and here's why. I fly up from Santa Rosa on Wednesday evening. I practice Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And I'm here at the homestead. So here's what I do. I get a nice warm beverage. I go out with the dogs and I'm checking out our garden and seeing how the plants are growing. And I really enjoy this a lot. These are the grow boxes that we have. We created them for what we call maturity. These are our beef tomatoes that are started already. And I'm really looking forward to that. I love tomato sandwiches. And over here we have potatoes, sweet potatoes. So you can see we are getting our season ready for the growth that will soon come out. And here's the greenhouse. Let's see how we're coming along. Oh, great. Our snap peas are up and coming along. Let's see what else is coming along here. The lettuce and we have radishes and some onions. Mm. I'm looking forward to that. So this is my routine. Love the life I'm living right now. I'm so grateful for my team. They make this happen at the office. I wouldn't be able to do this without them. That's my digital studio here at the homestead. And in this studio is where I will be testing other digital systems. Where's the dogs? Hey, where's Jordan, huh? Where's Jordan? One thing I did want to talk about that I experienced this week is I did a veneer case. I prepped it on Monday and seeded it on Wednesday. And everything was going well until I got to the anterior teeth. And somehow I just could not get those lingual margins closed in the way that it was milling. I do extra fine mill. It just definitely works much better. I was using extra fine mill on the prime mill. And the problem with the initial burr pass is that you have the left burr, which is the step type of burr, and it's 1.4. And that was over milling too much, particularly with conservative veneers. So I was thinking of what to do. So I went ahead and pulled out my trusty NCXL, used the extra fine mill with that. Now it takes a lot longer. The extra fine mill and the prime mill is around well, it's 11 to 15 minutes based on what mill quality you want because you have two options there under the settings. But the MCXL takes probably around 24 to 28 minutes. It saved my day because I used the 12 burr on the left, that's 0.85. It's not the 12S, which is about 1.35, and that's in the MCXL. was able to achieve beautiful fitting restorations with less over mill, so the algorithms for the extra fine in the MCXL is actually better than the prime mill. It's just that it takes a lot longer. And I'm glad I have the MCXL. Don't get rid of your MCXL for that reason. If you want to do more conservative veneers, it's definitely the way to go. There's no chipping on the margins and you can mill down to 50 microns on a margin without chipping. A lot of my veneers are thin. They're less than 500 microns thick and it works fine if you are on a flat surface with the prime mill, but if you wrap around, particularly in the elbow area on a veneer, then we can run into problems with over mill. And that's my biggest problem with the four axes. Now up here at my home studio, I have the PM7, which is a five axis, and that can mill anywhere. And uh, that's my preference. So in the future, what I'll be doing with a lot of my extra thin veneers is that I'll go ahead and print. I have the Brent Ray 55S. I'll print the provisionals and place those. Then I'll come up here and do my lab work in Idaho. This is my home set. And uh, then I'll take that back the next week and place them in. I get a lot of questions on this YouTube channel about more videos. Well, I have a lot of training videos on my online site. In fact, I have a complete curriculum for CEREC and finishing and all the things we can do chair-side CAD CAM. It's at the castart.org or the Clem Institute. Would love to see you there as a member or, and you can also attend one of my live classes there at the Institute as well. Would love to see you there in one of the venues or online.
the Prime Mill and the M6 all working fine for basic general dentistry. Where we have limitations with it is with the more refined petite dentistry. That's what I call it. And that's more of the minimally prepped or non-prepped veneers, which with the five axes, I can easily machine it out without no over mill on the inside. But I do look forward to my mornings like this. This is my other buddy, Jordan here. And he just loves the morning. Hey, bud. He's my buddy. He used to go to work to me and he just loves the morning like this where we come out and I drink a warm beverage and uh, they like to hang out. Where's Zena? That's the other shepherds. Have two shepherds that are together here. They keep themselves <laughs> occupied. Jordan used to really mourn when I was gone and he'd mope around for the first day, but he doesn't do that anymore. Just thought I'd share with you a little bit of my week. Hiccups happen and you have to work around them. You take care. Bye.